What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Dogs. Once again I am back with yet another news episode, news from the future about patch 9.20, about that huge rework patch 9.20. Sadly at the moment while I'm making this episode test server is still not working, so sorry. I am, I am not able to provide you some uh, content about upcoming tier 10 Genies uh, heavy tank WZ111 model 5A, but as soon as I get back, as uh, soon as I'm back at home and test server is working, this video is also going to be up uh, for you to see and for you to judge. But in today's episode, I am going to talk about uh, French uh, medium tanks, especially Badget 25T is going to be reworked a little bit. It finally received HD model, but. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, and also AMX 30 first prototype and AMX 30 uh, B uh, are going to be reworked a little bit or are going to be buffed a little bit. So uh, let's get right into the action and uh, let's start with the budget 25T. And as one guy said in the World of Tanks Reddit post, this is what you get for joking that the budget is the best light tank in World of Tanks. And yes, they decided to tune this tank a little bit, how this tank works, how the gun works and so on. But seems like the mobility is going to stay the same, so I can say that budget 25T even after this rework is still the best light tank in this game even though it is named as a medium tank but it has all the things that one light tank should have as well so it really does not matter but before I'm going to show you new HD quality budget the pictures about that budget uh, let's take a look what Wargaming decided to do with this vehicle or what they are going to do with this vehicle. Uh, the purpose of these changes is to make heavy autoloader tanks and budget more distinct. Okay, and what they decided to do is they decided to make budget 25T more like a light tank. Yes, because they are going to lower the alpha damage from 390 alpha damage to 300 alpha damage. But at the same time, budget is going to get one extra shell in the magazine. Instead of carrying five shells with 390 alpha damage, budget is going to carry six shells with 300 alpha damage. That means 1800 clip potential. It used to be 1950. But they will also improve budget's accuracy, gun handling and so on. Uh, they said that improved accuracy and aiming time will not only make it easier to shoot, but will potentially influence survival rate, since the time required for a shot will be decreased and the tank will be less uh, under enemy fire. Less than under enemy fire. So. Uh, it can work, but with 300 alpha damage, uh, it is hard to kill enemy tanks, uh, don't you think so? Okay, you have to look for targets under 300 HP to get 100% kills, but uh, or not even 100% kills, because you can always low roll, but you know what I mean. So, now let's take a little bit closer look at what exactly they are going to do with this much loved tier 10 French medium tank in this game. Uh, let's see what they changed. Uh, 1800 HP, this is the same, hull armor is the same, turret armor is the same as well. Uh, quick check, yes it is the same, uh, turret traverse speed, hull traverse speed, exactly the same. Uh, view range is going to be 400 meters, which is uh, better than on most of the light tanks. Yes, okay, this stays the same by the way. Uh, top speed, reverse speed 65, 23, uh, but penetration, this is the first uh, difference over here. It is going to lose 7 millimeters of penetration. It used to have 259 millimeters of penetration and uh, it is, or it is going to have uh, 252 after this patch, if this vehicle comes in as it is. At the moment I do not have any information what type of ammunition this tank is going to carry with this new gun. And most likely APCR is going to be the standard round and maybe premium APCR version as well, but premium round is going to be hit super hard. We all know how devastating budget 25T was with premium heat rounds, with 330 millimeters of penetration. Seems like it is going to lose that epic epic heat uh, premium round and new premium penetration is 278. So minus 52 millimeters of penetration with this gun. This is pretty nasty, yeah. 
uh, average damage as I said 300 instead of uh, 390 but uh, now let's talk about some improvements uh, for example accuracy is going to be buffed from 0 0.38 to 0 0.36 aiming time from 2.7 seconds to 2.5 seconds and you can buff it easily under 2.4 second uh, which is going to be your reload time between every single shot uh, so shells in the magazine 6 instead of old 5 and auto loader reload time reload time for the entire clip is 34 seconds it used to be 40 seconds so overall dpm i believe is actually going to be a little bit better because old reload time between every single shot was 2.73 seconds and as we all know you cannot boost the reload time between every single shot so 2.4 second reload time 34 second uh, clip reload time or magazine reload time you can get this down to 32 something i believe but you have to add 12 seconds on the top of that because this is how long it takes to empty your clip after firing your first shot so let's say you have to aim uh, with your first shot as well it is going to take you 14 and a half roughly 14 and a half seconds uh, to empty your clip uh, from six clips but after firing during your first round uh, it is going to take you 12 seconds so yes you have to stay out for 12 seconds if you would like to clip anyone and faster loading medium tanks are able to put the three shots back at you starting from the first one of course three shots back at you yeah and you have no armor by the way as well so this is uh, our new budget 25t uh, tier 10 light tank or sorry sorry medium tank uh, <laughs> light tank but um, i don't know <laughs> i really do not know how i feel about that i like uh, that faster reload time between every single shot i like faster uh, uh, clip reload time i like faster aiming time better accuracy but 300 alpha damage this is interesting maybe 320 war gaming 320 would be awesome and premium shell penetration wow that was hit so hard it actually hurts even looking at it from 330 to 278 i believe we can call this as a nerf in my opinion or what do you think let me know what do you think but now let's take a look how new budget 25t is going to look in hd quality and yes, I said I do not know how I feel about that. It looks a lot more like um, Patcher 25 TAP. It looks a lot taller. It is not so uh, so slick tank anymore, in my opinion. If I'm looking at the pictures at the moment as well. Yeah, a lot like AP, but if this is how this tank looked uh, in reality then maybe I take it. I am happy with it. At least it seems to be a little bit cooler looking tank than Badger 25 TAP, so I have that going for me, which is nice. But Badger 25 T's uh, HD model was one of my most weighted HD model, so if this is what I get, I have to be happy. I cannot be mad. I really cannot be mad. So yeah, ladies and gents, this was Badger uh, New, or this is going to be Badger 25 T. Uh, tier 10 medium tank in this game uh, maybe they are still going to tune it a little bit uh, keep in mind uh, those stats those uh, specs are from super test server but uh, once again official information from the world of tanks uh, facebook page uh, next up let's take a quick look at uh, what wargaming is doing to the other tier 9 and tier 10 french medium tanks amx uh, first prototype and amx fairly b so they decided to change those two tanks because they were way too similar to the Leopard BJ and to the Leopard 1. And they decided to tune French tier 9 and tier 10 medium tanks a little bit. Uh, we will add more stabilization and damage per minute to the gun so that the tanks could battle more effectively at medium distance uh, while moving around on the battlefield. 
To give overall balance, fire effectiveness at long distance will be reduced. APCR cell penetration will be reduced from 260 to 247 mm and accuracy will be reduced to 0.34. So what that means, better DPM and better gun handling while you are moving around but you are going to lose penetration and accuracy. And now let's see what they did to the AMX 31st prototypes turret. A gun mantle is going to be buffed from 120 to 150 to 200 to 260, as you can see from the pictures. And uh, the area behind the gun mantle, the actual front of turret, uh, before it was 80 millimeters thick and after it is going to be from 80 to 150. So, a new AMX 31st prototype turret, a frontal turret for you. On AMX 30B, uh, the turret armor used to be 80 mm thick, same goes to the 30B, uh, from 80 to 150 is going to be the new uh, armor and gun mantle. Before it was from 120 to 150 and after uh, from 240 to 300. So, gun mantle is going to be pretty damn nasty on that AMX 30B. In close range fights, in hull downs, situations, for example, this tank is going to be complete AMX 30 beast. Once again, like AMX 54 beast, a new tier 10 French uh, TD. Uh, so, yeah, ladies and gents, uh, changes to the tier 9 and tier 10 French medium tanks. Badget was hit pretty hard, or maybe we can say that Badget was balanced. What do you guys think? Was Badget nerfed to the ground or balanced uh, to the position where it needs to be at the moment? Uh, but still, I would like to see, I don't know, 320 alpha damage or something like that. And that premium penetration nerf. That was pretty nasty. It hurts. So I don't know how much you have to pay for those new premium rounds, how much more, but you are not going to receive uh, that much extra penetration with that. Uh, I believe uh, you have premium, or I believe you have standard APCR ammunition and premium APCR ammunition. So no sniping with Badget anymore versus tanks that actually has uh, some kind of armor, or tanks that actually have some kind of armor, because APCR is going to lose a lot of its penetration over the distance. Anyways, ladies and gents, this was my today's news episode to you. If I have any more news, of course, uh, this is the place to check it out. Uh, subscribe, like, comment or dislike to whatever you want. Enjoy your weekend. As always, stay awesome and I catch you in my next episode, uh, which is... Uh, I don't know what kind of episode I have for you tomorrow. Maybe something from the test server. Maybe, we'll see, but you stay awesome, stay sexy, and goodbye.